What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today we are checking out a cordless vacuum cleaner. This is P10 by Homica. They send this to me for free, full disclosure for me to test and give you my opinion. However, they will not get to see this video before it goes published. I have already unboxed it, been using it for about a week so I can make this video and give me my final conclusion and all the pros and cons. But we're gonna start with the basics. We're gonna open it up, do the unboxing. Uh, this is on Amazon right now for about a hundred bucks to kind of like put it to perspective. So I consider this a budget option. And by the way, if this is the first time you're stopping by, welcome to this channel. In this channel, I review text gadgets to unboxing reviews and tutorials. So if you think you like content like this, you may wanna hit that subscribe button. And when you turn on the bell notification, make sure to change that to all, cause that's the only way you'll be notified for all my future videos. So the unboxing is pretty straightforward. First, when you open up the box, uh, you will see your main extension arm that you'll be using with the cleaner. You would have some of your accessories, your charger and wall mounts. And then you can see the main head and the brush, as well as the um, uh, owner's manual, which comes with an extra filter, as well as additional accessories and the main unit itself. How's that for a fast unboxing? So here it is. Uh, first, let's talk about the design and everything you need to know about this. Uh, this is a little bit dirty because I've been... <laughs> this is somewhat modular, very similar to other stick vacuum cleaners. For the reference, you may hear me talk about uh, Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner a lot because... Now, that's not at all a fair comparison because Dyson is about 450 bucks. This is 100 bucks, uh, but that's the only other stick vacuum cleaner I have ever used. But nonetheless, it's pretty straightforward. So. This is uh, the main unit itself. You have the arm and then you have the head, right? Uh, but so I can actually fit this in the frame. I'm going to take the arm out for a second. Uh, there is a lot I do like about this setup when it comes to features. Uh, number one, when you are trying to charge the battery or when you're using the device, there is an actual display back here that shows you the battery level. Dyson does not have that. So that feels really good. So as you're vacuuming, you know how much battery life you have left. The canister, the way it comes out, it is very similar to uh, Dyson. So you just push this button, this will come out. Your filter's back here, which by the way, you can take this entire housing out and wash everything with water uh, to release all the gunk that you have vacuumed up, all the dust, you just push this button and then this would flap open. So the battery is pretty big actually. So there is this button right here, you can release the battery. It does not come with a spare battery. It would be nice if you could like, maybe get additional ones. I have to look to see if there's a way you can buy the extra battery. But nonetheless, the battery comes out. The other thing I really like about this, the trigger, I don't have to hold it like the Dyson. Dyson, you have to actually hold the uh, trigger as you're vacuuming. This one, you only hit it once and it's on. And then, so you can see the battery level indicator back here. And with this button, you can change the setting, go from medium, low to high. Uh, let's talk about uh, the brush. In the front, you have one, two, three, four, five LED, which uh, is pretty cool. Again, my Dyson doesn't have that, this does. So there's a lot so far this thing has going for itself. This claim to have uh, a really long battery life, so I put it to test. Now, naturally, I tested it at its highest setting. Uh, so remember, it has three, low, medium, high. So I tested this on high, and it lasted almost on the dot 15 minutes, uh, and I thought that was pretty impressive. This one does not need any tool for you to take the components out. So in order to take out the brush, there is just this uh, button you push right here. And then you can take out the entire brush and go ahead, take out, uh, you know, the hair and uh, even wash it and do whatever else you need to do with it. And then also same thing for the canister. Again, fairly maintenance free, push up a button. You don't need any tools. And in order to be able to take this entire housing out to try to wash it, again, you just twist this off and it will come off no tools needed. One more thing about the design and feature of this that I was really excited about is how easy it is for you to extend this arm. Again, my $450 Dyson does not have that. You just pull down 
this uh, slider right here and then you can extend this main arm so i thought that was a very clever ingenious way to try to include this it may seem unnecessary but it's there okay let's talk about performance and then i'm gonna share some of the cons um at the same time that i'm talking about the performance so to begin with this is not gonna replace your uh cordless dyson vacuum cleaner it just simply does not have that overall power now when it comes to uh, vacuum power there are two things you need to consider one is overall suction power and the other one is the overall airflow the suction power is when you have the vacuum fully sealed how hard does it really pull uh, your hand and the airflow has to do with when it's not fully sealed how much suction does it get that extra airflow will help with that and i think this potentially lacks a little bit of an airflow to be able to keep up with something like dyson but would i recommend this or not so i tested this on multiple surfaces i tested it on carpet on just stuff on my table uh, in case if like stuff pours down i tested it on hardwood floor and here is my conclusion so we're going to do a few more tests here i have some uh, rice grains i have some um, crushed uh, pita chips and some crushed uh, crackers i think here we go let's start with the rice So one pass looks like literally got everything except five or six grains. So it looks like it got one small piece right there. So one pass and nothing left. So much better on hardwood floor than carpet so far. Let's try the pita chips, which I think are the most difficult one. So this one in one pass picked everything up except two of the pita chips were pushed forward and rice grains. This definitely is not as strong on carpet as it is on hardwood floor. For hardwood floor, you can do this on medium setting and you have absolutely no problem and for carpet if you want this for like deep cleaning forget about it it's just not gonna give you that much airflow to be able to give you that deep cleaning uh for your carpet you need to have a main vacuum cleaner now the other thing is most people that get a stick vacuum cleaner cordless cleaner this is not going to be their main unit so here is uh here is what i will suggest if you already have uh, a main vacuum cleaner that is heavy and you want something for day-to-day -day use that is lightweight that you can easily just hit different spots under the table under the chairs and and whatnot in the kitchen all the corners this will be great if you have if you're someone who have a lot of um uh more um non fabricy floors such as tiles um or uh what you will call it um hardwood floor and things like that this would be great if most or all of your house is carpet uh, then i may avoid this because you have to go a little bit slower on the carpet and you have to do it at a high setting to be able to get the maximum usage out of this now don't get me wrong i cleaned the entire basement with this that i have carpet and it did fine so for like i said every day day to day to, uh like maintenance and pick up dust and dirt and things like that it will do just fine but keep in mind this cannot be your main unit and you probably don't want to get this if 
all you have is carpet. All in all, considering everything, I cannot, because every situation can be different, I cannot clearly say, yes, this is definitely worth buying or not. It depends on your house and your budget. But if half of your house is non-carpet and you're looking to get something under a hundred bucks, the features that this thing offers is excellent. Okay, I think at this point, I'm just rambling and going on and on. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Hopefully I didn't miss any critical information about this. Um, if I can think of anything else, I will pin a comment down below. If I missed anything, please ask. Let me know what do you guys think. Are you currently using any other uh, stick vacuum cleaners that maybe the viewers need to consider? Anyways, this was it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Links down below. Don't forget to like the video. And thank you so much for watching if you're still hanging out with me. You're a trooper. Bye.